The Equality and Diversity Forum at the Conservatoire is a forum made up of staff and students, staff from across the institution and students, whoever wants to come really in lots of ways. We're, we're very good at saying if that person's interested, let's get them involved. The Equality and Diversity Forum is a dynamic and proactive forum which brings together staff and students who've got an interest or a passion in equality and diversity. I think it's really important to have it here at the Conservatoire because it is standing as a leading voice, a leading body, a role model for other institutions, but also for within the arts, um, in terms of encompassing various di various types of diversity and accessibility and inclusion. And there's some really exciting things going on here. And I think it's really important that that's adequately advertised to the rest of the Conservatoire as well as to the rest of Scotland. It means that people do have respect for other people's beliefs or for their views or just quite simply how they live their own personal life within you know, the professional world in which we inhabit here. It's got an energy about it. So you come away feeling, okay, this is not something that is just concerning, you know, it's just one of my concerns. Um, there are other people who feel strongly about this area too and we can move things forward together, finally. This thing that we call equality and diversity, this, this concept, if you like, and practice, well, equality is a basic human right and diversity is a, a celebration of the human spirit. And if in an institution that trains artists, educates artists, we can honestly look at basic human rights and celebrate the, the, the diversity of the human spirit, if we can't do that here as we prepare artists for the world of work, then something's awfully wrong. It exists because I think philosophically we, we value equality and diversity. Uh, I think it's, it's deeply embedded in the way a lot of us think about what we do in terms of teaching and learning. Uh, and it's, it relates to, I guess, our new curriculum and some of our curriculum principles. Uh, we just think it's a really important area. We live in a, an increasingly diverse world and this allows us to be almost one step ahead of the game and ensure that we can be as accommodating and as sensitive as possible to all the different people and walks of life that we meet and encounter every day. It's for, for everyone who's interested in, in issues of, of difference, whether it's disability, religion, race um, or age. and gender, sexuality issues as well. I think it's for, for anyone who, who is covered by the legal definition or anyone who's just interested, like I said, as a, as a human being. I think one of the most successful differences that has emerged from the work of the Forum is the partnership that we've made with Solar Beer Theatre Company. Now, Solar Beer work exclusively with deaf artists and in our partnership with them we have developed a pilot training programme for deaf actors. We're now in the second year of that pilot. We're working towards designing a full-time degree which will be taught through British Sign Language. Um, many of our staff are training in sign language and in also interpreting performance. Um, we have a huge range of activities happening, but probably the most exciting one is that we have created three apprenticeships, three theatre apprenticeships with Solar Beer. And now we have uh, EJ, Connor and Kieran who are on a 16 month apprenticeship with us and they're very involved in all of the work of the Conservatoire and of theatre companies across Scotland. Um, also in the Queen's Jubilee year we created eight Diamond Jubilee scholarships and we gave all eight of those scholarships to the eight students on our pilot deaf theatre tra uh, training programme because we wanted to make it possible for them to access the second year of that pilot. But I would encourage anyone who's interested in having their voice heard or, f or who feels that they can represent a body of colleagues within the institution to turn up. Anybody who would like to be involved in the Equality and Diversity Forum can do it without any difficulty. They can either drop me a quick email or Ros Kaplan or they can, they can speak to the student union president and they can say, you know, I'd like to be involved. But everyone is welcome. We, we, the more the merrier, the more ideas that we get put forward, the better. Um, and yeah, we, we can continue to make changes, to make improvements, to make this place even better than we are. We have here a process which involves staff, involves students, is led from a very high level and I think it, it, it really embeds equality and diversity in the programme in a way which goes, goes far beyond just ticking any legal boxes. What's really important to push is that equality is really about everybody, which sounds like a real cliché, but actually 
There are all time there are times when all of us are penalised for various things, and a lot of the time we don't even realise that it's happening. And I think it's about raising raising the bar of what we expect from society and from the conservatoire and from ourselves, um, and demanding that demanding that those boundaries be pushed because if we don't do it then who's going to do it